Hey guys, Nikki Novak here for Young Hollywood. We are on the set of Mom on CBS and we're here to chat with the amazing cast. I'm here with Justin Long. We have something in common. We both have AOL accounts, so we're yes. the only two people left. Yeah, I, I always get the same reaction. People are like, what? Here with Sadie Calvano. Yes. Here with Anna Ferris. We're here with Allison Janney. We're here with Young Hollywood. <laughs> we're talking about mom. So this is something sort of new for you, doing the multicam comedy, but I know you've talked about how this character, she's very different from things that you've played before. She's very, she's more complex, she's a little more layered and that you're loving it. I'm loving this. I'm loving like every element of this job and I love Christy. She, you know, I've played a lot of simple characters to say the least. And wasn't there like a script just left at your door with like no envelope? It was left on my doorstep and I didn't know anything about it. My husband brought it in and he's like, what is this? I don't know. My husband started reading it and he said, whatever you're doing right now, put it down. And he was on like page two. He's like, this, you need to play this girl. I was like, okay. What's cool about this show is typically in life, the younger you are, the more immature you are. And as you get older, you get more, you know, it's the reverse. You, you get to have the most fun, I feel like, of everybody. I do. I am the biggest <laughs> child on this show. Bonnie is a big child. And that's what I love the most about her because, um, and it's the thing that's most like me as a person, as Alice and Janney. I'm a big child, and uh, I am. I'm completely childish. I have not grown p past the age of, emotionally and mentally, past the age of, you know, 17. How's the experience been so far? Insane. I like, kind of don't really believe it yet. Like, I still find myself like, kind of pinching myself. I'm like, no, I'm really here. Uh, the beard, is this for the show? It's very kind of you to call it a beard. It's, um, it's growth, for sure. Uh, <laughs> How long did it take? Um, uh, two and a half years. You're Anna's love interest. Now, you're yeah. gonna are you gonna have to do some kissing with that that thing, maybe? Uh, so. Yeah, unfortunately, I. But it's like you know, it's like sitcom kissing where it's like, and and the whole audience goes ooh. It's like they're filled with like you know Amish like tweens. So earlier we had Justin here, and you were teaching him has hashtags. Oh, hash hashtag thanks. Hashtag been fun. Hashtag um, you're welcome, America. What was the hashtag you taught us? What's a young thing to say? How do I... Give me a young... Hashtag swag. Hashtag swag. <laughs> hashtag swag. Hashtag swag. Hashtag swag. <laughs> Are you big on Twitter? Are you big on it? Because um, Anna and... And I think a couple of the other castmates are just getting, I think Allison too, are sort of just getting yeah. back on it. I got Allison started on Twitter. Did you get her started on it? I did. I did. I did. How did you credit. tempt her? I was like, Allison, what do you mean you're not on Twitter? And she was like, Sadie, what are you talking about? I was like, Allison, all the cool people are doing it. And so, and so I like sat with her and taught her all the buttons and like connect and hashtag. Have you taught her how to do a selfie? No, that'll be our next lesson. Are you good at the selfies? Maybe on Friday I'll teach her how to rock it. <laughs> what, so what tips for a good selfie? I think that um, the duck face is pretty out of trend. <laughs> out of trend? I think so. No more duck face, I, people. I wouldn't, I wouldn't duck it. None of this. <laughs> I'm obsessed with your Twitter. Thank you. And you wrote hashtag or hashtag tacky. Have you figured that one out yet? You can't figure them out in general. Do you have them figured out? See, I think it was cool to hashtag for a while, but now it's no, not, it's not cool, cool to hashtag. See, a friend of mine told me that, which I actually tweeted that a friend said, you know. That you shouldn't be ha yeah, exactly. hashtagging anymore. And then you said you want to know how to say bitch like Aaron Paul. I'm assuming you're, assuming you're a Breaking Bad fan. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bitch. I can't do it. Can you? <laughs> bitch. That's closer. Bitch. You have to get your face really red, bitch. Tell us, how is the how is the Emmys? Well, you know, I tried to make things a little interesting at the Emmys because sometimes it can be a long show, and they don't really provide any beverages for you during the Emmys. So I no decided hydration. no hydration, and I thought I need to sneak a little something into my evening bag. So a very clever person gave me a um, a plastic shot. A vodka, and it was a collapsible. Collapse. I'm not drunk right now, but <laughs> a collapsible 
shot glass. So it was, you know, soft. So you could mush it into your purse. Oh, Those purses brilliant. are so teeny. They're they, so they teeny. Give you. They're like this big. Uh, but I never actually took it out because I was too embarrassed. I was like, I can't. I'm sitting next to Al Pacino and, and you know, I'm not going to take this thing out and go gluck. You could offer Al Pacino. I'm sure Al would have been fine <laughs> with it. You probably should have offered it to him. <laughs> Did I hear that the Big Bang cast sent over, a, a, speaking of alcohol, a bottle of champagne They or were something? so classy, so sweet. Not only just a bottle of champagne, like it was a Dom Perignon vintage bottle of champagne. I mean, it's really, really generous and, and sweet of them. Geeks, John Perignon I know. Connoisseurs. They know how to throw Ooh, yeah. down over there. They know they're a very classy group. So we have a little game for you. Ooh, boy. It's not really a game. It's kind of just random questions okay. based on the show. Um, okay, most embarrassing moment, either, you know, when you were a teen, caught doing something bad or your parents embarrassed you. Oh, gosh. No, I, I was pretty good at embarrassing myself. One of my first jobs was this yogurt, frozen yogurt commercial, and I was hired. I was, I think I was like maybe 15 and I was hired because I looked like I was nine and I was also had this very chubby face and so I, you know the commercial I'm like I'm eating this frozen yogurt and I my mom off camera is like Amy are you eating ice cream and I say not anymore and so I would walk and I was in high school I would walk down you know the locker bay and all I would get it all the time. Not anymore. Not anymore. I'm in like second grade, I think. You start learning about stranger danger. And I went home and like just couldn't stop thinking about it. And so then my mom was like, okay, Sadie, it's time to go out and get the mail. And I said, oh no, like, I, I, can't, I, I can't go and get the mail by myself. Oh, no way. And so finally my mom said that she was gonna wash me from the door and I was gonna go and walk to the end of our driveway and get the mail and come back. But she promised to watch me the whole time. So I'm like really nervous and I'm walking down to go get the mail and I open the mailbox and all of a sudden this big white like beat up creeper van is no. driving down my street and stops. Then the big white door slides open and I have the mail in my hand and I drop it and I run to my mom and I'm like, stranger danger, stranger danger. And I'm totally babbling. The guy goes, I'm really sorry, ma'am. I didn't mean to scare your daughter. I'm just here to fix your window. <laughs> Oh my God! Never been so embarrassed. It's my dream to play football, and uh, she she begrudgingly like let me find, sign up and go. Sixth grade, she drops me off. It's like it was called Pop Warner's or like Little League for football, and um, she drops me off. We start and she, and she says she said, "Oh, you know what? I just want to ask the coach a few questions." So so we started walking up. All my friends were there. The coach. And it was about to be like the greatest moment of my life, and um, she said, "I'm just a few questions." So she said. I want to know, like, what happens if he gets hit, the helmet. And he said, oh, the helmet's very safe. And he went through the helmet, face mask. Can he get, like, an extra thing for the neck? She went from, like, head to toe, all the pads, the option. What about his pancreas? Is that going to be, you know, and every, how is this going to be protected? Head to toe. Well, ma'am, like, there's chin guards. If you want them, they're on there. You don't have to get them. But he, I want him to have those. Okay, he can get, like, this, part, this. So basically, like, had me in full body armor. And she's like, okay, well, I guess it's uh, everything's fine. And uh, so she started walking away. I was so relieved. And she stopped and she spun around and she, she said, um, oh, this, this is probably a s silly question, but, but this is two-hand touch, right? So are you still, because we were asking everybody today, what was your rebellious phase? Are you still having one? I'm still having one. <laughs> I still am. I'm not really? even kidding you. Like bringing flasks into the Emmys. <laughs> really? Like, who does that? I'm a very respected, mature actress, and I'm bringing flasks of vodka into the Emmys. And any chance to be bad and have fun. My mom has a theory, I think, that if I'm really busy, I won't get into trouble. And like, I kind of think she's right. I had a 1972 Monte Carlo was my first car. I had that car growing no. up. Mine no. was baby blue That's growing so you up. Remember those like bench seats? Yes. In the front and the back, and you could fit like 10 people. Yes. So, you know, you couldn't find someone's house to party at. Just bring out the Monte Carlo. <laughs> <laughs> and then last but not least, in the very first scene, in the pilot, you're crying at work. Mm -hmm. Is it ever okay to cry at work? In my if you're job, you're not yes. acting. <laughs> if you're not acting in a scene. I don't, I don't know, I don't think so. I mean, I'm assuming you've never had an office job, but I hear about these stories by these people that are like at work and they're like, I had to go in the bathroom because I had to cry. <laughs> it's just like, is it ever okay? Do you think? I mean, I think it does have to be private because yes. you can't help, but people will, you know, people will 
tend to think like, whoa, She's that's... the crier. Yeah. yeah, yeah <laughs> You'll yeah. always be known uh, yeah. as the crier. The nice thing about the show and about acting is that you can do it and get away with it. Okay. Well, there you go. Thank you for ch chatting with us. You're so welcome. Are this you drunk too? So I am. Yeah, oh. chatting. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> We're wasted. <laughs>